Um, mm, I would say as infrequently as possible. Probably have been quite neglectful and been maybe once every six to 12 months. Um, well, recently I registered with a fantastic dentist that I've been to see twice. Um, in the Northern Quarter in Stevenson Square and they have all kinds of flexible hours. They do after work appointments, they do week, they do weekend appointments and nearly drop down of shock. But prior to that it's really difficult to get an appointment that's not in working hours. I suppose people say similar things about GPs. Um, and I've moved around Manchester quite a bit and then it's about finding a new dentist and one of the biggest difficulties I've faced is finding an NHS dentist that are taking on patients. And that's something that seems to have eased the last year or so when I phoned up, people were like, oh yeah, we're taking on, but prior to that, it was like a period of sort of two or three years where you could not get an NHS dentist for love and money. Worst experience I'll start with was, was being little and having braces and having to get them tightened because there's just nothing as painful as having your braces tightened and I remember um, going to the dentist having them tightened and that was so unpleasant and going home and literally feeling like if you breathe it the movement was agonising in your mouth. Um, a lot of teen, my teen years with braces I've got quite a small oral cavity overcrowded in my mouth and they've all crossed over again. So I went through all those years of braces and all that pain only to find as an adult so I'm wondering whether the issue of braces is that you need to wait to see what actually is going to come out in a, in a young person's mouth before you start trying to move and manipulate the teeth because what I, I've known a lot of people that have braces and then in their late teens and early 20s more teeth have, well the teeth have just crowded and they've crossed over again. So there's something about it that's not always that effective. But now as an adult I can't get that treatment as part of the NHS, unless I made a case for sort of psychological damage as a result of having crooked teeth, you know, um, you, it's an it's, it's aesthetic, so you'd have to pay to have it done privately. Um, best experience was actually the last time I went to the dentist. Um, I got an appointment really quickly. It was um, I didn't wait very long. The dentist was lovely. I'm pregnant so I didn't have to pay. I hadn't realised that in advance so that was a lovely surprise. Um, and I had a cleaning and a few other bits and pieces but you know it was just a generally uneventful and not unpleasant trip to the dentist really. <laughs>